Hey everyone, welcome to PG Analytics and in this video, I will talk about the concept of context filter. So in Tableau, we have variety of filters and among all, the context filter is very important here. So let's understand what are filters and how the context filter works in Tableau. So filters are the effective way to restrict the amount of data for analysis. And by default, all the filters that you will create will work independently or that will execute independently. That is, each filter access all the rows in your data source with respect of any other filter. However, we can set one or more category filter as context filter for the view. And uh, uh, the other filter will uh, be applicable on the data that is coming from context filter. So if you see the sequence or the execution order or order of filters, so first extract filter will execute and then data source filter, then context filter, dimension filter, measures filter and table calculation filter. So this is the execution of filters. And you can see between the context filter and dimension filter, your fixed LOD will execute, top end filter will execute, conditional filter will execute, and set will execute. Then between dimension filter to measures filter, include and exclude LOD will execute, and data blending will execute. So this we have to remember uh, which filter will execute when so this is the sequence of filters and uh, these are the different conditions or different filter that will execute between them now let's understand the how the context filter works and how it will change the data so i'll open the tableau desktop and uh, connect it with sample superstore and create one view using category subcategory and drag the sales. So by default, it will show you the sales till subcategory level. Now I'll write one calculations that will show the data at category level. So for that, I will use fixed LOD. Fixed category and do the sum of sales. So this calculation will fix the data at category level. Now it will show you the sales of furniture, office supplies and technology. So for furniture, this is the sales 754747 point something. Similarly for office supplies and technology. Now if I apply a filter of subcategory by default, all is selected, all, and OK. And show this filter in this view. Now, what is happening right now? This subcategory is a dimension filter. If I uncheck the bookcases, if you look at this data, there is no change in fixed LOD. Because this fixed LOD is executed on top of the data source. That means whatever is the sales of furniture, this fixed LOD will show that sales irrespective of what subcategory you are showing in this view. Even if I uncheck the chairs also, you will notice there is no change in fixed LOD or there is no change of furniture sales. But if I make this filter as context, how we can make this filter as context? Just right click on that filter and you will see the option called add to context. Now by selecting this options, this filter will become the context filter. And once we convert this to the context filter, you will notice the fixed LOD data is changed. Earlier, earlier it was not uh, this number. If I just show you once again, remove from context, it is like uh, 7 like 54,000 something. But after converting this filter to context, we can see the data is different. Now let's back, go back to our document. This context filter will execute first and after context filter, fixed LOD will execute. And this fixed LOD will execute before the dimension filter. So when we are keeping this subcategories dimension filter, 
fixed LOD will execute before the dimension filter. But when we make this as a context, fixed LOD will execute after the context filter. Now internally what is happening when we convert this filter as a context filter, Tableau will create one temp table and in that temp table, whatever data you are passing from this filter, that data will be loaded in the temp table. So right now, bookcases and chairs is not selected. So for bookcases and chairs, data will not be populated in the temp table. So against category furniture, data is available only for furnishing and tables. Now on top of that temp table, your fixed LOD will execute or that temp table will become the data source for this sheet. So this is how the context filter works. It creates the temp table and all the filter. Now, if you add any other filter called product name, now this product name filter will execute on top of the temp table. And in that temp table, we do not have the data of bookcases and chairs. So this filter is now dependent on the context filter. So by default, all filter works independently. What we can make it dependent when we convert any filter to context filter. I hope you got the concept how it works and you can see how it changed the data as well. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much.